Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for another special edition of the stream. Tonight we are doing the Treasure Constructed. So Treasure Constructed is a is an event that is here on Arena for this weekend where you play best of one standard, but each turn uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you get a treasure token, you know, like a regular treasure token where you can uh, sacrifice it to add one man of any color. So it allows you to splash cards very easily. And that's what we're kind of taking advantage of here. So we're playing an Esper control deck, uh, just kind of normal Esper control stuff, except for we need some better finishers, right? Like Teferi is okay. We need some good finishers. So we got Nicol Bolas and we have Hydroid Krasis. So we don't we don't have any green mana or any red mana in the deck, but because we get a treasure every single turn, we'll be able to cast these. I've been pretty impressed with Nicol Bolas in general in this format because you just have like the extra mana. So not only do you get to play your Nicol Bolas early, you get to flip it early, and flipping Nicol Bolas uh, really you know turns into a powerful card. Um, and uh, and then you know Hydra Crisis if you got extra mana. Uh, it's perfect. And even in control deck, you know, gaining life is really important. And so gain life, draw cards. It's about everything you want to do. So we're basically Esper control, splashing a couple different colors. So we got five color Esper. Yeah, Biogenic Goose is a good one to craft for the Simic deck. I'd recommend it. And if you want, if you can see uh, me playing on any of those decks on the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash MTG. If you want to kind of check out some of those decks, maybe before you craft, because I, I really have been liking those Simic decks. All right, five color Esper. So we missed out. Oh, we're four two the last time. We need to get to five wins to unlock Chemist's Insight for a card, and we missed out barely with our five color Legend. So we lost the last match. Yeah, we're doing a, a special, this is a special format where you get, where it's like a weekend format where you get a treasure token every single upkeep. So this supplies us with red and green mana. Blue la 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 la. Also, hope, hope your weekend's going good, Scott. Dang, I still, I'll, still need to text you. I'll text you soon. Let's see. Just so we can have the negate or the cast down available here. I think mono blue is pretty good in this format. Like, because mono blue, you, you get to actually play removal. Uh, you get to actually play, like, you know, decent removal in mono blue. Because you don't need... You can play all basic islands, yet you can play, like, cast down or whatever. You know, like, mono blue maybe struggles against red. You could just play Lyra in your mono blue deck. Just use two treasures and cast Lyra. So I honestly kind of think that mono blue is pretty good for this format. hit the lands that we wanted. So the safest thing, you can't dive down or spell pierce a nickel bolus, so let's just play this bolus. We'd have to any of our spells we have to worry about uh, spell pierce. If we play hostage shaker we have to worry about dive down. And they did have a dive down. That's a bad sen scenario for me. Yeah, you could have mono blue with bolus, absolutely. Man, we need we need actual land drops though. This 
this isn't going to go well if we can't don't have enough man to cast our spells. I think my best chance is them not having a counter spell for Kai's Wrath. Doesn't seem too likely, but. You never know. Yeah, or you could just have Bolas and Mono Blue. Absolutely. Alright, do we get a land? Nope. Alright, 0 and 1. Since we're trying to get 5 wins. It doesn't make any sense to continue after you just if you just get a loss on the first one. Because it's free to enter, so since you get since you're afforded two losses. So let's just restart it. Let's retry. Yeah, we lose, we just resign and requeue. Yep. Uh, I thought we were going to be on the play. Turn 1 Thought Rager is good. Omega, please don't use that kind of language. Here in chat. Alright. Acquisition, absorb, and revitalize. I'll take the acquisition now. Next turn, I just take the absorb. By that I mean like my spell just gets absorbed or whatever. <laughs> turn one land or turn two register alpha, turn three galta with haste. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So our opponent has the draw step off Revitalize plus their draw step. So they have two draws to draw a counter spell. I hope they don't. And we can land Teferi next turn. my favorite 3D card? Honestly, it's Thought Erasure. This is my favorite one. Trust me. You'll thank this me. This one later. looks so good. Let's skip to the good part. So good news is we have to ferry and play. Bad news is our opponent has a lot more mana than us for now. <laughs> but yep, yeah, that's that's my favorite one. I just like like you like the texture of the clothing and everything. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, <clears throat> I also don't I don't love how much they move also. Alright, well we're one and one with the deck, but in this league we're one and oh. But I'll still go and put that we're one and one with the deck. Trying to get to this five win plateau. We 
been on the draw all three times with this deck. Probably want to just cast down that. Do have to shock. Hmm. We checked out animated kindling phoenix oh yeah that is, yeah that is really good i never really noticed how the the phoenix was like lighting a row of trees on on the side honestly until until really uh seeing that that one there bolus is a great draw here get rid of one of those last two cards Yeah, Revel and Riches. Yeah, Revel and Riches would be pretty good. <clears throat> I am perfectly fine with that. You can you can purchase some of these 3D cards with gems. Does anybody have a link to like this article where they talk about including like the pricing and everything for for these cards? Because I should make a command where I link that because that is a common question because it's a brand new thing. I wish this hostage taker was Hydroid Crisis. That was the that's something we were kind of debating about. You could take one of their treasure tokens. You could just play it as a two three. So we're down to five. Yep, starter styles is a promo code. Man, these light up the stages are doing work. I should Okay. Glad they did that. Now we get to actually hostage shaker and cast the Viachina Pyromancer. But we're looking for like Krasis, revitalize. Hey, Krasis. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll just do that. Krasis for six. And 
Esper control with Krace is pretty nice. No, not not that one. Where's the one where it talks about how much it, it costs and everything? I mean, I think it's just like it's on their forums. It's somewhere on their forums. Crisis, do your crisis. That's what. That's what Krasis does. Draws more Krasises. Once you get the first one, you get all of them. Hey, the beer guy, Ed. Welcome back with that resub. I appreciate that, beer guy, Ed. Thank you kindly. Ooh, we finally get to go first. Let's go ahead. And let's go ahead and have Ascanta in play. I think I like that. Ah, mono red again. I guess it doesn't have to be mono red. Could be like is it Drake's? Um, I do want land. Maybe not yet, though. I like trying to get it cards in the graveyard as fast as possible to be able to flip Ascanta. All right, so this is a lot of stuff. That's so much stuff. I guess we're going to have to try to beat everything. Like, I think I have to take the Frenzy. We do have three Mortifies. Or no, I only have, like, two Mortifies. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Frenzy. We're going to have to beat all this other stuff in their hand, which is going to be difficult to do. A little surprising they didn't just play Steamkin on turn one, TBH. on that steamkin. Okay. So how am I going to do this? Let's go with Bolus. Again, Bolus is basically a three for one. Uh, you know, make them discard something. Good. I'll take half of a risk factor for sure. And then, you know, we block the Pyromancer and the Wizard's Lightning, my, my Bolus. Or they use Double Burn Spell. If they use double burn spell, we get to do the Kaya's Wrath next turn. Ooh, burn spell me. Okay. Upstairs. Take that one, thank you. It is nice we get to just keep on uh, putting all of these things into play tapped. I'm playing the Contempt here because of the life gain. The 
treasures, add mana of any color. Yeah, there was an update. Did anybody find the... I could, I could probably go and try to find it. Here, uh, graveyard. I don't want to shock. If that was a non-shock land, I'd consider it to be able to play a crisis for four. One, two, three, four. Dang, didn't see it immediately. All right, so we're two cards away from Ascanta transforming. And we're also down to seven. One card away. Ooh, that's a just a great draw. Revitalize is a great draw there. All right, three and one with five color Esper, and we're three zero in this league because we just started a new league after losing our first match. MTG Arena Forums um, Cosmetic Upgrades or Updates. All right, let's see if we can find this. I really wish Arena had, or just Wizards in general, had a lot better websites. I can't even find this stuff right now. What are we playing against? Uh, Esper. Go ahead and ditch that. Oh, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a command for tomorrow of whatever the, like, with the prices and everything. I'll find that article. All right, so we're playing against Flame Job. No to Flame Jab the card. And definitely glad we have this as Kanta. Because, you know, our hand isn't very good, with Cast Down presumably being a dead card. Good job, Sway. 5-0 with Gruel Aggro. Way to go. Oh, that's a tilt. I was like my... That's my one card. How's my one card? We do have four Teferis and three Krasis. Those will all be good draws. No, there's nothing else to earn besides the cards. 
Uh, one mana away from flipping Nicol Bolas. Couldn't quite do it on turn four. I already used two treasures. So they should be tucking. I am not going to sit this one out. Time is much more malleable than people think. Drawing another cast down of course is not ideal. Nickel Bolas is pretty ideal though. Good draw, good draw. No time for a break. No removal, don't don't have any removal. Just have cast down and ritual of set. Ooh. Slamming down second to fairy. This isn't a fight you can oh, with win. another tuck. What what is this shadow about here, by the way? What is this all you about? You need to take a time out. Yeah, if you if you win one one game, we need then you get quickly. skewer the critics. You get a play set of skewer the critics because yeah, you, all you need to do is just win win it once and you get like the play set. These are emblems. Oh, the shadows from these emblems over here. Yeah, that is kind of weird. So this this emblem's making this shadow, and that emblem's making that shadow. Hmm. You can turn off shadows. Right, what are your two what are your two cards? One of them's gone. So yeah, you have to do custom graphics and stuff. That's... I don't really want to mess with that right now. Hold that thought. Alright, so they had a second ritual set that we had him discard. Fairy's dead. Just let me know if you're up for round two. Oh boy. Witness omnipotence. I'll take one of those to fairies. The dead shall serve me. Thank you. Right on, skit. Hurry. Cool. Nagate. Think our opponent's done. Think we're moving to four and zero here. There we go. No, you do not get shock from starter styles. The red one is Viashino Pyromancer. You you get shock from doing from buying the fifth the their twenty dollar bundle for fifteen that they have. All right, four and zero. Final boss, can we get to five wins? We got an extra life too. Yesterday, they, they said that a Johnny's Pride Mate was going to be in War of the Spark. Were there any other cards they announced today? That was good? Like, did they have any other previews? Or is, is it still just... Is it still just that? Um... Um, 
We've had a lot of turn one as Kantas. It's pretty good. And I'll just cycle to get to the next card anyway, and I don't think we're going to need the three life, so I'm just going to go ahead and ditch it. Yeah, playing best of one moves a lot faster than best of three for sure. Because, yeah, we this has been like 30 minutes <laughs> for this one. I do not have a Lavinia in this deck now. I had a Lavinia in the, in the Legends deck. Can't complain too much, even though our, you know, our opponent slot erasured two of my best cards with Teferi and, and Hydra Crisis. I do have Search for Escanta out, so can't complain too much about that. And they have to run out of Thought Erasures eventually, right? Augur of Bolas is an FNM promo. Interesting. A good fight. That's a tilt. Notice I didn't. Kai is going to keep my Ascanta from flipping, but at least we get to basically look at two cards a turn. Really should have seen that coming. Even like throwing out the Escanta, uh, we don't, we're not really going to be able to flip the other one. Really good at banishing things. Yeah, their hand's pretty good. They haven't had like the removal spells stuck in their hand like we had. But we got rid of their Teferi, which is good. They got rid of mine. And I'm I am looking at two cards a turn, looking for another Krasis in particular. Where Krasis can get absorbed, and but still draw us a lot of cards. Ooh, that's bad. I like it to look at two cards a turn also. But they have this annoying Kaya. It keeps my eyes canted from flipping, but theirs is going to. Bags and hit the road. Hmm. This eats the absorb. Got to eat that absorb eventually, anyway, right? So I can make them use a treasure or have them tap mana on their turn. I guess making them use a treasure is better. No, have them tap mana on their turn.
the key card to our deck. Um, I guess probably Teferi here of Dominaria. A Planeswalker. Probably the key card to our deck. Same, to, same with our opponent. This card that our opponent has here, this land, is going to ruin us. Kaya, as Kant is going to ruin us. Kaya's not doing so bad herself. Right now, we want to draw a Hydroid Crisis. So, Crisis would be able to draw us. Uh, Four cards right now. Even if we got countered, it's a draw four. I'm pretty close to just con to conceding this game. I'm known for my excellent. No time for a break. What I do. I mean, technically, we haven't lost this game yet, but there's been so many draws of us not finding anything. All right, that's a real card. Hoping our opponent does not have a counter spell. It's pretty likely they do, though. Dang. Dang. They did. Goodbyes already. Okay. One last draw. All right, let's go to the next one. I sat in there for a while, but I'm still having the five cards, the inside. They, they have everything. All right, so we're technically four and two with the deck, but we have another chance at the final boss. We're not dead yet because after we lost the very first one and then reset and then, so we're four and one in this league. So we got to win this one. It's a good start. Of course, we had a good start last time, though, too, but our opponent had triple Th Thought Erasure taking everything, taking all of our important cards. All right, I like seeing that we're playing against red. And I don't think I need to Thought Erasure immediately. I'm going to... I just don't want to shock. Let's put this down. Next turn, we can double spell with Thought Erasure and Negate. I think Niv-Mizzet would be really good in this format. 
like with all the extra mana. I bet Niv Mizzet is awesome. There's just so many control decks too, and it's uncounterable. Yeah, I bet Niv Mizzet's really good. Of course, having a treasure means you have to click OK on everything, even if you're auto-passing. I wish auto-pass like actually meant like auto-pass. You know, not like auto-pass until I have to click resolve. Like there's just no, no reason to have this if it doesn't actually do anything. Hey, what's up, Skyrims? Strike, strike, skewer, chain whirler. We'll take the skewer. It costs the most. Correct. One win, two wins, three wins, or four wins, you'll mock all four. There's no difference between winning one and winning four in the event. So we just want Krasis for four right now. It's not bad. We can just stop taking damage from this Lava Runner. It's a free event. It's you know you you play it, you get a win, you get the skewer, but then they have like the the five win extra you know, extra goal for the chemistry's insight. Huh. A little surprised they didn't strike the crisis. Oh, what a great draw! Forgot we had that card in our deck, honestly. So now we can have negate available to protect the crisis. I won't hide from the world any longer. Keep up the pace. Our opponent kept like the one lander and they still still on just the one land. I think we may have this final boss here. Oops. Try to make this thumbnail. Ooh, I like it. So perfect, yeah. Thank you so much. Of course, just kind of ends this. Let's skip to the good part. Ooh, bolus is cool. Bolus is cool.
don't even know if I'm supposed to be attacking here. I probably shouldn't. So we'll be able to cast down the Steamkin and have Negate available for a Lightning Strike. And that's it. Our fifth win. We got the Chemister's Insight. We did it. That's not Chemister's Insight. There we go. Chemist's Insight. All ours. So Esper Control is good and best of one. It certainly is. It blanks uh, other people's removal spells and stuff like that. And I think this version is pretty good against Red with having the revitalizes. As we saw, we, we beat Red three times in this one. And then the other thing that's good against Red, of course, is Hydroid Krasis. Gaining that life, being a big blocker. Krasis was pretty clutch in beating Red. And so, yeah. Esper, just being able to play Nicol Bolas and Hydroid Krasis for free. It was uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there we go. Five color Esper. If you want to have a spicy deck for the treasure constructed event, this is a pretty good one. So there we go. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.